this. What's your name? I ain't get to tell you your name. D. D? Okay, watch this. Hey, uh, give me Roman 12. Give me Roman 12 and 1. Because you, uh, you pretty much know your nationality. You know who you are. You know that you is real. You know. Matter of fact, get Romans 12, hold that, get Deuteronomy 11 and verse 26. Because they showed you the choice, the free will that you were speaking of. So you either got free will to do God's commandments or you got free will to die. That's the only two choices. So you, you, we're going to see which one you choose today. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26. Bring it up. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So God said he set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Which one is better, a blessing or a curse? Which one is better? A blessing is better, right? Okay, read on. A blessing if ye obey the commandments. If you do what? If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. So God said he'll give you a blessing if you obey what he said in his Bible. So he got statutes, laws, and commandments in his Bible to give order to the nation of Israel, the children, the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. That's, so that's what we had. Read on. And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So it said a curse if you don't obey the commandments of God. Deuteronomy 28 and 30 is a curse. It's going to show you something that identifies or a sign that's upon the children of Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Read Thou out. shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. So the scriptures say that the so-called black suspended the native, the man is going to betroth a wife, marry a wife. And another man should lie with her, meaning another man gonna have sex with her. Another man is gonna sleep with her. Right. Read. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. So as the people, we built the house and we didn't dwell therein. Right. We did not dwell therein. So is that it on that verse 30? Okay. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. So we shall plant a vineyard, and we didn't gather the grapes to rub for ourselves to eat and things like that. So give me Psalms 40 and 8 to show the will of God. So we are going to deal with that free will thing. So you already see that the uh, the free will, free will to either live or free will to either die. That's Which one right. you going to choose, sis? Okay, so you, you choose life? Watch this. Bring it up. Bring Psalm 30 verse 8. Bring I delight to do thy will. Hold on. He delight to do what? I delight to do thy will. So now we're going to see the will of God that King David delighted to do. Read. Oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. So the law is supposed to be in your mind. The right. law is what we're supposed to obey as a people. That's because right. that's why we went into slavery on slave ships, because we did not obey God's commandments. Right. You see what I'm saying? So give me Romans 6 and 23. Read now, now I'm going to show you for sin what happened. Right. The free will, you either going to sin or you're going to keep the commandments. You're going to live or you're going to die. Read. Right. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So the wages of sin is death. So what you get paid for sin is death. So right. just picture yourself getting the check from Christ and talking about, hey, you're going to die. Just picture that. That's what you get for sin. But the gift of God is eternal life. You live forever by right. keeping his commandments. Give me Romans 12. You live forever by keeping Bring his it commandments. Up. So as a people, what do we got to do? We got to transform our mind. Hey, bro, how old are you, bro? 17, what's your name? Chris? Okay, watch this. Hey, which one of them right that look like Christ? Which one of them images do you think we can find in the Bible? I can find a black one in the Bible. Watch this, we're gonna show you. Give me a few seconds. Bring it up. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Jesus. And be not conformed to this world. So sis, the Bible say don't be conformed to this world. Don't be identical to this world. That's don't right. look like everybody else that's walking in this world. Hold on, bro. Right. Hey, hold on. Come on, bro. This is about your nationality, bro. You don't want to hear about the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. You don't want to hear about your forefathers. Bro, hold on, bro. Read what you got. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So your mind got to transform. But what's going to transform your mind? The laws of God. Yes, hey, sir. How you doing, old school? What's your name? CJ. CJ, hey, come around here right quick and look at this image of Christ. Tell me which one of them is in the Bible right there. Read again. Read Keep on reading. That ye may prove what is the that good, that acceptable, and perfect will of God. Wow. So you got to show what that perfect will of God is. That's so right. watch this. Hey, give me Deuteronomy 20, 25. Bring it up. So we finna see if you choose the life or you choose the death. Because wow. life is the people of God's commandment. Hey, old school. Hey, old school. What's your, you say your name, CJ or Chris? CJ. CJ. What's your name, Chris? Hey, if you see a man right now in a skirt, 
What you gonna think about it? Bring it up. He what? He a faggot. Don't you think? Watch this. Okay. Jesus. Watch this. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does it say about the woman? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Hey, sis, what that mean? Hey, D, sis, what that mean? Come on, in the with me, talk to me, come on. Bring it up. Are you look, okay, cool, cool, hey, I'm crazy. So what does that mean? Deuteronomy 20, 25. Bring it up. What that, what that mean? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does it mean that a woman shouldn't wear that pertaineth unto a man? Hold on, what? Watch this, let's, let's finish the verse just we're gonna see if y'all can get it in. Hey, old school, let me know. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh, for, uh, hold on, so what is the woman's garment? It said neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is the woman's garment, brother? You know, I know you know. Yes. A what? Yes, a what? Right. That's right. Bring it up again for the top. Let's see if she gonna choose life or she gonna choose death. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So uh, choosing life is changing your apparel. That's right. That's choosing life. But if you choose to keep on them pants, sis, and you don't trans transform your mind, and you conform to the ways of this world, that's dead. That's, that's right. what we're trying to get you to see. We got a dress code as a people. You're supposed to have on a modest dress or a skirt so men will not see your physical. That's what you're supposed to wear. Right. So these men won't lust after you. Because when y'all see a female and she got tight pants on, what y'all think? Keep it a hundred. What you think? Bro, what you think? Huh? Look, he ain't gonna say it. Tell your sister. Some love to your sister. Then Leviticus 19 and 17. Bring it up! This is love right here, sis. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of our people don't know. They never seen this type of love. Right. But we right. out here to show this love to our people. Yeah, to right. bring back the identity. To right. bring back and show you that Christ looks like you, bro. Right. Oh, right. old school Christ looks just like you. Right. Uh, right. Your brother, you see in the street. Christ. You want to see Christ in them. That's right. You see that? So you want to be edifying your people, transforming your mind from the ways of this world. Because right. this world is nothing and it's going to burn. That's what, what you got. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. heart. So the Bible says you shouldn't hate your brother in your mind. Right. You shouldn't be thinking no evil on your brother. Right. You shouldn't walk around here and let your brother keep sinning. Right. We don't both be doing that. Because, right. bro, you got to change your apparel. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put on the fringe. We the sons of God. We the people of the book. We the greatest nation on the face of the earth. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. But how come we don't know it? How come our sister don't know that she's supposed to have on a dress and a skirt that's modest? And she go to church on Sunday. She go to church on Sunday, but she do not know. Why? Bring what you got. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So the Bible says you're supposed to rebuke your neighbor. This is how we telling you and we correct you now, telling you to transform your mind. Oh. Renew your mind with That's the right. spirit of God. Put on a modest dress or a modest skirt. Come about them pants. Read. And not suffer <laughs> sin upon him. We don't supposed to allow you to sin. Get Ezekiel 44 and 18. We do not supposed to allow you to sin. Jesus. We don't want to sit here and let you just sin. Hey, young bro, where you going? I still got to get the image of Christ for you. You got a fly? Where you fly? Come on, bro, get the paperwork. Get the literature. You want to hide anything from a black man where you put it? In the book. In the book. That's right. Because ain't nobody going to read it. Exactly. That's why we destroy it. But guess what? Hey, sis, did you look up Deuteronomy 2025 on your phone? You did? Hey, read that for me when you get it. Sis, when you get it, read it for me. Read what you got. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 18. Thou shalt have linen bonnets upon their head and shall have linen bridges upon their loins. They shall not girt themselves with anything that causes sweat. So the Bible says you don't supposed to girt or put on anything that causes sweat. Meaning men don't supposed to have tight pants. Sister, hey, you don't supposed to have on pants on, period. That's right. You see that? You don't supposed to have on anything that's gonna cause you to sweat, because when you sweat, what happens? What happens after you sweat? It's an odor. That's why the most high telling you says, hey, put on a modern dress. That's right. Put on a modern skirt. That thing got to breathe. Like real talk.
slave ships in the Bible. Bring it up. You read about it before, you know? And where? I said, you know a little bit about the, uh, your heritage, your history? Okay, what you know? Uh, came over your ship. You came over your ship, that's right. Nope. Uh, right. Uh, do you know why it happened to us? That's so, right! How did we get out there? How did we get this? That's right. That's right! So what's the date? So what you supposed to be doing? Okay, what's up today? Give me uh first, give me the hand cover real quick. Bring it up. So hey sis, watch this. You actually give it a commandment right now, sis. You see what I'm saying? So we uh went into slavery because we broke God's command. Right. And this is how we get out by applying God's command. That's, That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, young, hey, hey. Watch this, read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. You know, but I would I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Right. So it just gave you order right there. It is telling you the order. Who's the head? God. Then it's Christ. Then it's man. Then it's woman. Then it's children. That's, That's right. how the household's supposed to be conducted. Right. But Bring we fell apart once they did what? How did we, when they, when they took the man out the house, what happened? The woman started ruling the house. The right. woman, oh, I wear the pants now. Now they're walking around here in pants. They're trying to fight like me and do things yeah. like this. But watch this, read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. It say every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. We prophesying right now. That's we right. read out the Bible right now. It said if a man have his head covered, read. Dishonoring his head. Uh, so right now, who are you dishonoring? Who is your head? Read it again. Bring it up. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Right. So the head of every man is Christ. Right. So your head is Christ. Right. So now it said if your head is covered while the Bible is coming out, read prophesying things like that, you dishonoring your head. Right. So you're dishonoring Christ right now by having your head covered. So are you going to choose life or are you going to choose death? Which one? You're going to uncover your head and you're going to keep it covered. What you gonna do? You gonna leave your head covered? Hey, all praise to the most high. That's how we repent. That's how we change. That's how we transform our mind from the ways of this world. That's how we conform. That's how we don't conform to the world. Not being identical. You see what I'm saying? What you got? Go to, uh, hey, hold on, bro. Right here, real quick. Revelation 1. Watch it. Bring it up. Yes, sir. Revelation 1. I gotta give him the image of Christ. Real quick. Right here on the, on the flyer, bro. On the uh, on the thing. You Bring get your flyer. You ain't get no flyer. Yeah, there you go. Open that up in the inside. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So revelation it means revealing. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Right. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant to do what? To show unto his servant. So it's to show unto his servants. We're That's God's right. servants. So it, they're about to show us something. What's in the Bible has to be brought out. We have to be shown this. We have right. to be shown the visual. We're about to reveal what Christ looked like according to the Bible. That's we, right. Verse 14. His hair and his hair were white like wool. And what you say your name was? CJ or Chris? Which one? CJ? Huh? Chris? All right. So read this part again right there. What you just read? His hair and his hair were white like wool. So what people on the face of the earth has woolly hair? Bring it up. Black, right? Here's what like. So just by reading that part right there, what is it saying about Christ? He got woolly hair and what else? It's, it's white in color, woolly in texture. Right. If you touch your hair, that's what Christ's hair felt like. Bring it up. But what, does, what is that saying? If, if we the Israelites, if Christ looks like us, what is Christ? He wanna, he, it's the same thing. Yes, That's right. It's the same thing. We come from the same lineage. We the same people. That's uh, right. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine bread. So it said, and his feet like unto fine bread. So what color is bread? Is what? Brown is gold. But watch how dark he said that bread was. Read it up. They burn in a furnace. 
So if you burn anything, what color will it turn? Bring it up. Black. So it's right. telling you that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's you right. see that? But get Job 9 to 24. Somebody came through and they changed what he looked like. Right. And a lot of people want to say, oh, it don't matter. Well, if it don't matter, why they changed? Right. Why we didn't know from youngest that Christ looked like us? Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Now we hate our own self because we think Christ is white. Right. That's right. We That's hate right. ourselves. We hate our brothers. We hate our sisters. Right. Look how we treat our own people. We would rather go to another nation and treat them good or better we treat our own selves. Right. Look at our communities. Look how we live. It. Read. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the Bible says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, meaning the people that's ruling the earth and pushing these attenders, they wicked. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 